My relationship with the land is intimate. I have roots in the landscape. It gives me nourishment for my soul. This is one of the last truly wild areas, well, in Europe, certainly. This is derelict land, altered beyond all recognition. We have a man-made wilderness out there. This is a managed landscape, and we have to continue to manage it properly. I would fight tooth and nail to keep this place. I am proud of where I live, and I love sharing it. And look at that, that that's, that's in my home, that is. It's quite funny, I never really volunteered to shear everybody's sheep in this area, it just kind of happened. I started off working here when I was 17. Left school and started working here under my father. You don't come into this line of work to make a lot of money, you do it because it's something that's in you. I'm not trained for anything else. We're kind of forgotten about up here. People just see the mountains and stuff. You can still have people living in a wilderness. It's different here to what it was when I was growing up. The sheep have been sold off, they're gone. And along with the sheep go and were the men that used to look after them. We're dying breed, I guess. Yes, this is happening. The highlands are losing young people. If we carry on the way we're going, there's going to be nothing left. Why? I don't know what the answer is and it's not easy. It is a challenge, I think, for the future. It's up to us to speak up and defend ourselves and defend our community. Because if we don't do it, nobody will.